Uh, one thing we've been doing uh, is um, because recent guests have been comedians, uh, and it makes sense, is that uh, in Portugal we have uh, local regionalisms and regional expressions that obviously, when translated, even when not translated, don't make <laughs> a lot of sense. <laughs> So yeah, sure. um, we've uh, just been presenting our yeah, guests with creating a segment, like, yeah, segment of uh, two or three and yeah, see what do you think of them. Portuguese <laughs> expressions that translate okay. poorly, poorly into, into English. English. It's pie, believe it or not. <laughs> Portuguese expressions which translate poorly into English. pie. Oh, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that translates very that well translates into English. Very well into English. <laughs> the acronym, um, such as AKA, uh, uh, which is this, the um, the album uh, that you should get by Mike Kaplan. And we're doing this oh, an hour you. twenty into the show. <laughs> we should have done this mm -hmm. way before. No, it'll be it'll be in the text. No, it's, it's what fine. about? Plus, it's, it was number one on iTunes, I think. What right? about AKA? Was it like number one instead of AC? It, when it came out, it was yes. Yes. ACAB. Uh, oh, yeah. AKAB. All, <laughs> all knitters all are bastards. <laughs> it's it's just mm. the temptation to play with AKA is immense, as you might have found in your promotion of the oh, sure. album. <laughs> Well, I, I appreciate your your helping spread the word about well, it. <laughs> well, AKA, I've I've you know what I was curious about is like uh, if uh, Aka was a word in any language, and it is in several languages, but one that I found was Oka in Swedish, which means uh, to go mm. uh, Oka, you know, to go to go or to travel or something like that. But I just found it found it amusing. It's not necessarily something. Um, it has been the thing that you've been doing. So, so yeah, yeah. It's lately, true. back in to, back on tour. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Okay, so Portuguese expressions. Uh, okay, so grain by grain. No, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to say this in Portuguese before uh, first, um, which is grão a grão enche a galinha o papo, which means which translates to Grain by grain, the chicken fills its belly. Hmm. Which I mean, means basically, I could if see that. you do something uh, and take your time doing it, eventually you'll get the uh, for uh, the one step at yeah, a time. Yeah, one step at a time, at a time. Yeah. and one, you will one grain at a time. If you're a chicken, take it one grain at a time. And maybe one stone once in a while. Maybe a stone once in a while. Maybe yeah. a bug, I guess. Yeah. Chickens might eat bugs. Yeah, I mean, cows eat uh, birds sometimes. Yeah, they do for calcium. I didn't oh. know. Yeah, they do. Wow. They do. Mostly grass. Mostly, yeah, <laughs> mostly grass. Mostly, mostly yeah, grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, that's. I like it. I think that, that expression tracks for me. Grain by grain. The chicken fills its belly. And by grain, we imagine, well, it's generic grain, but it can be also... Grain of corn, yeah. No, it's, it's grain, all, of, grain corn. of corn, but also I would... When I think of grain, I think of... Uh, chickpeas? Chickpeas. Yeah. Because, because in, chick oh, okay. in Portuguese, in Portuguese grão, grão is... is grão de bico, which is chickpea, but we also mm -hmm. just call it grain. So, so, mm -hmm. so oh, chickpea by chickpea, okay. a chick... <laughs> Peas eventually. A chicken. Yeah. <laughs> a I chick like goes it. Goes to the bathroom when it has to. <laughs> exactly, exactly. When it's too full. Please yeah. Do, please do chicken. That'll be good advice for us all. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Do like the chicken and take life grain by grain and eventually pee yeah. when you have to. Yeah, yeah exactly. Very nice. Uh, yeah. The other one is a ver vamos. This is very popular. I don't find, I don't find it very <laughs> amusing, but it's just like yeah. um, a ver vamos. Uh, it would translate to to see we are going. To see, to see we, are, we going. are going, or to see, let's go. <laughs> it's like it's like to see, like to the ocean. To no, no, no to, to see, or observe. to see, like to visualize. To see okay. what happens, we will. Why it's oh. like Yoda talk. Uh, it's I like no, it's very, ah. um, uh, very like hesitant about what is actually going to happen it's just we'll see is it it's like not... k sarah sarah well, like whatever will be will it's be less it's less a little bit more negative like 
Ah, uh, let, let's, yeah. okay. let's see if that that really happens. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's oh, not, okay. Yeah, because Sarah is like, oh well, that's life, you know. Uh, uh, but this is like, uh, is it life? <laughs> we'll see. It's yeah. like, eh. <laughs> it is and has been forever. <laughs> uh, but um, mm -hmm. or the other one. Oh, uh, there's a, uh, actually a Japanese expression which I really like, which is shoganai, which means it cannot be helped. Yeah. This is not Portuguese. Like this is welcome be, to Japanese like, expressions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I think it's, the, it's a little bit like it cannot be avoided. Avoided. Or, yeah. Or helped. It cannot be helped. It is the state of life. Yeah. So therefore, be at peace. Something like that. Yeah, it, yeah, like like one. life is sure. terrible, but yeah, life yeah, is wonderful. So one. you know. Yeah, uh -huh. it's just I, I yeah. find it really. I, I accept. I like. I I like. I like. I like. I like. I like. I don't know. I've never. Suddenly, you're Italian. <laughs> I like. You became Borat kind yeah, of as exactly. well. I like. You know, you know yeah. what? This is seems like a show like that's trash talking other or just the not trash talking but like saying humiliating things about other nationalities. But because of the Germany thing. But I used to live in Italy. Uh, no, no, as well. Yeah. Uh, in we're... different times. Yeah. Um, but I used to live in Rome, and for like a couple of months, I had never heard anyone speak English. This was. 20 years ago, not now, because people now are perfectly, you know, speak English, I guess, mm -hmm. much more than they used to. But mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> um, the first time I heard English, it was like, Antonio, when are you going to cook the bacala? <laughs> and I was like, you're joking, right? <laughs> this is a, a rib. This is, this is like, no, they actually oh, sure. speak with the stereotypical <laughs> accent and feel, feel like should i like uh this is kind of i, I had uh, oh, one story where like uh um, this is real i had know? some some <laughs> this, uh, this band, was an exaggeration a, a band from paris was uh, was sleeping over and one of them has like perfect like american english and I have like I lived in California for a while, so our accents really match like really matched well together. And we talked a lot and a lot and a lot in English. And one of my Italian friends says, "I am nono. I speak English so fluently." And I tell her like, "Federica, do you realize that you speak to me in Italian all day?" And I am not Italian. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, you speak so many languages. <laughs> so she was making fun of me for being so fluent, but I'm like fluent yeah, I, in Italian with her like with every her. day. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. sure. <laughs> oh, look how, how well you can speak the English. And, you know, like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm already not speaking in, other, in my own language. <laughs> uh, which, because we speak in Portuguese. Okay, uh, nothing, nothing against accents though, but it's just funny no, because no. you would think that a stereotype wouldn't be true, but it is the norm, which is really weird to oh, have yeah, to my, deal with. My uh, my ex-partner was uh, was uh, was Italian, and he would um, like when people like would ask him like stereotypical things, he would just be like, "No, but do you think I am like that?" <laughs> and I'm like, Ugh. you will think that a little bit, yeah, yeah, a little bit. That yes, people don't a little bit, especially this, this like very, this. Very, they, very, it, ah. It's very much, a, very much mm -hmm. something that yeah. Italian people do. Yes, okay. So I understand. And this one uh, I particularly like, and I think uh, it's um, f uh, this is back to the Portuguese expressions, which is uh, the third one, which is. É de pequenino que se torce o pepino. É de pequenino que é de pequenino que se torce o pepino. It is from very little or from a very young age that the cucumber gets twisted. <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, yeah, that's uh, it. Sort of ties into what we were talking about about the formative minutes yeah, and the yeah. formative years of one's life. The formative years of a cucumber's life might be if it is twisted. Then yeah. it, uh, hopefully it can do some, you know, go to therapy uh, and learn about the source of its mm -hmm. twisting trauma and learn to process it and move past it and uh, you know 
maybe not become completely untwisted, but mm -hmm. learn to accept the the twists and turns that are a part of all of our cucumber mm -hmm. lives. Because and, we, and as we corrupt the, <laughs> the corruption in the early years, yeah, uh, and corrupt the corruption of the cucumber. Hello, government <laughs> <laughs> of cucumbers, uh, the parliament of cucumbers. Your fate is to be twisted, I guess. <laughs> so let's start while we're. No, it's the opposite. Your fate is to be untwisted. So, no, that's actually the, totally the wrong point of the expression, <laughs> which is uh, if you want to get um, your cucumber in, <laughs> in a bunch. <laughs> no, but if you want to, uh, if you want to be good at something, might as well start early on. It's from yeah, it a very early age that you become good at yeah. what you are. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. But why the twisting of cucumbers? I have no idea. I don't know. I've never seen a twisted cucumber. Never. Never. Well, it, it didn't start early enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would be more sense. It would make more sense. Uh, it would make more sense with the pickles, even though we don't pickle our uh, cucumbers yeah. a lot. As but much I as other countries, like yeah. Pickles are cu cucumbers usually. Yeah, pickles. Yeah, usually. Usually, usually, and cauliflower. You can pickle like and most, and most of everything. Yeah, our pickles. Our pickles are usually like with meat that you eat, it's like uh, cucumbers, or not. But uh, tofu, for instance. But if you do like a pika pao we'll, uh, with meat or not, uh, it's like cauliflower, cauliflower cucumbers, carrots. and carrots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. But, a, that's a, mm. but not like, I mean, that, for instance, like we were speaking about Germany, not like Germany because they pickle all the cucumbers or something. Oh, I have a friend that is obsessed with pickling. And yeah. his pantry is just now like... Uh, we're not just so pickle-centric. Yeah, yeah. It just, pickle, he pickles pickle like everything that I didn't know could be pickled. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm pickling some... Um, some uh, piri piri, some, uh, um, some, uh, uh, chilies. some chilies, and I have them like sitting in the in the drawer for oh, a are few you? months. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, my sister, we live together, you know, and uh, so I didn't know about this, and this has been going on <laughs> under my <laughs> yeah, nose was, for a few months. It's been there, oh, it's been there for a while now. It might Ooh. be extra spicy, yeah, not too spicy, yes, otherwise, you'll yes, die. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but yes. You were saying you were gonna there's say a, there's a just a quick real maybe marginally related thing. There's a book called Crooked Cucumber oh. that uh, is an, a biography, I believe, of a Zen master that I, I like a lot named Shunryu Suzuki. Uh, and I don't know why it, exactly it's called Crooked Cucumber because I haven't read it yet. But uh, maybe it's maybe, maybe next yeah, time. Yeah, I'll yeah, report yeah. back. Yeah. Also, uh, an album that uh, Pavement never released. Crooked cucumber, crooked sure. cucumber. Uh, <laughs> this is a tongue twister. <laughs> crooked cucumber, crooked, crooked cucumber. Crooked cucumber, crooked cucumber. The tongue cucumber. becomes twisted at a very yeah. early age. <laughs> yes. If you, exactly.